All right, cool. So we are down at Fine Fitness Gym in Hull. We have got our first group photo shoot today. So we've got seven guys inside, well, five at the minute, two on the way, are going to be doing their first ever photo shoot. These guys have been dieting for 12 to 16 weeks now and they've lost over 60 kilos between them which is pretty nuts so what we're going to do is we're going to have the camera on all day you guys are going to get a behind the scene look of what a photo shoot looks like how it runs what the guys are going to be getting up to during the day and we're going to be pulling them out one by one and they're going to get an idea of how they found the process up to this point what their main take homes are what they've enjoyed what they've struggled with and how they've just found the day as a whole so we'll head inside and we'll get started <music> The start of it was easy. I think for me, I hit the brick wall about two weeks ago. It's one of those things, you know, if you want to get to where you want to do and a goal, you've got to, it doesn't come easy. You've got to push those boundaries. And I think being in this group has really helped because everyone else is in the same boat. So when you've had a down day, you can just message the guys and say, look, I've had a rough day. And then everyone seems to pick you up really again with that. So the way we look now is long, not long-term sustainable, but you can achieve it for a period of time. I think you've just literally got to say to yourself, I want to look like that. Um, and you've just got to put your mind, it's mind to matter really. Your body will keep going. Um, it's your mind that you've got to just knuckle down and say, look, this is what we're doing and this is how we're going to get to it and end of really. Hi, my name is Brendan and the way I found this process with Jay getting us ready for this photo shoot has actually been looking at some pictures already are really, really rewarding. Like I've actually really enjoyed the process. I know that might be something that people might not expect, but I've actually, enjoyed having that daily accountability watching me seeing how i'm doing things and seeing how my mood's going up and down and stuff it's been phenomenal to be honest i've been really happy with it my name's nick i'm a physiotherapist we've got regen physio this process has been interesting i've always been curious about doing something like this seeing plenty of people who've done things like this before because i've always worked out i've always kind of wanted something to work towards but not quite know what so i was going to do a bodybuilding show or anything like that so when this opportunity came up it seemed like a good one for me in terms of let's commit to the process for a few months and let's see what the end result could be like the psychological the mental the emotional challenges of what's hard you know when you're, you're tired from the process and like i say the implications of your friends and family around you that you need to kind of be aware that it's going to impact the people around you as well as you uh, jake's advice has been great in terms of at the early stages i was feeling quite resentful for the things that i was missing out on i, I kind of um if we went to uh, an occasion where there was, for example, drink involved, I, I would be annoyed and resentful that I couldn't do that. But, and I fed that back into Jake and he said, look, you did choose to do this. And that kind of flipped a switch in my head in terms of thinking, yeah, this it, it, is my choice and it's only for a short uh, time frame. And also Jake reminded me as well that all of those things will be there when this process is finished, which again really resonated with me is I know what, um, you know, I know what the wine tastes like, I know what a nice meal tastes like, it'll be there in three months' time, so it's just a short sacrifice. So understanding that it was um, kind of getting my head right around those things, and then obviously different bits and pieces, like learning little cheat cheats for food that would taste good, like chicken burgers rather than pizzas, and um, swapping out the beer for non-alcoholic beer and things like that just helps me get through those, those times. So we've just pulled up at Ultraflex Gym in Hull. It's where we're going to be doing our photo shoot today. Uh, they've kindly let us use the facilities for this group shoot. So the guys are all already inside. They got here before we did. So they're all getting in there. They're getting pumped up. They're getting ready to go. Jay's already in there, the photographer. He's getting set up and ready to go. If you want to check out some of his stuff, we'll drop a link or a picture to his Instagram just in here. So we're going to head inside, see how the guys are getting on, get them ready to go, and we'll get started. <laughs> To see what people want. We'll definitely get a pull down and definitely get a roll. Maybe get like a hanging, hanging ab shot if people want that. Um, and then if there's anything else people want, we can add some in. If not, we'll, we'll just see. So, Tim, did you say you lost 20 kilos? Yeah, man. It's about 22 time. now, isn't it? I think. 22, yeah, something like that. It's nuts, isn't it? What's the time frame? 16 weeks. That's <laughs> just getting them all oiled up. Best part of the job. <laughs> getting them ready to go. This is. Uh, 
It's the reason I got into coaching is this bit right now, actually, I'll be honest with you. It's actually uh, the only reason Adam signed up. He's not lying. No, he's not. He said, well, I'll be getting oiled up. I said, maybe. <laughs> he said, I'll only do it if I am. No, but it's just to make a difference on the photos. It just gives a nice sort of sheen on the photos and just really brings out the muscularity and the leanness. So we've got a couple of guys started out the pictures now outside with Jay. We're just going to get the rest of them ready and then everyone is good to go. <laughs> This is, you've done the hardest bit already. Like, just walking out is the hardest bit. Mate, it's fucking terrifying. It is the but it's the hardest bit. Do you know what's bad on it? You were doing the cables of best on. I felt mint over there. Yeah. I felt like, yeah, I looked fucking sick of that. I took the top off. I think you, when you see the photos, you'll be happy. At the end of the day, like remember though, it is your shoot, so if you want to do any of the pictures with a vest on, that's fine, you're not forced to do anything. Do, yeah. Whatever you want to do, it's your shoot, like the, your pictures at the end of the day, so it's fine. Um, but I think you'll be surprised when you take the photos. Yeah, and also, when you're doing your pictures, you're not even going to notice. Like, you won't even oh, think yeah, about anyone else. You will not think about it. You'll be looking at Jay and listening to Jay, and that'll be it. Yeah, what you tend to find as well is once we do the first sort of photos, everything starts to come in a little bit more as well. Yeah. Like I've had it a few times with clients where you get halfway through the shoot and then their abs like proper come in and you, it's just what happens is you get more of a pump on. Two seconds later. Your abs have come right in, like good, like good, like good. Down there. You happy? Look at your legs though, man. Yeah, I know that. Yeah. <laughs> Cheers. Yeah. I'm thinking in my mind, those were <laughs> fucking nothing compared to like last year's. Yeah. I was it's just like, like yeah. Wow. Like I say, when you see your photos, relax and squeeze it again, alright? So, Ryan's just done first shot. Yeah, first, first one. pose. How are you feeling? Yeah, good, man. I was really breaking it before and as I said to you the other day and today. I think once you go through the motions and it starts talking to you, I think it's just, yeah. it just falls away like it did last time. It just And then you just get, you ignore everyone else in the gym. Yeah. Um, it's that 12 weeks of work that when you see that first photo, like I did last time. Think, yeah, it looks like shit. <laughs> yeah, like, shit, do I look like that again? And then this time, do I look like that? Do I look even better than last this time? This year compared to last year, yeah. it's like worlds apart, isn't it? It'll be quite nice because you've got the poses from last year. I do, yeah. yeah. Post-workout, yeah. shoot, do a yeah. thing together and say, yeah, yeah, yeah. say, yeah, it's gone well, I enjoyed it. Yeah. My nerves are gone, I don't give a shit. I run around here in my underpants now, but could. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. With that, yeah, goes out the window, yeah, yeah, it? totally. Yeah, 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 yeah. When you're getting it done, it doesn't matter, does it? And then when you see that photo, yeah, you're happy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. yeah, good, yeah, enjoying it. Obviously, when you walk into a big gym like this, it's a bit worrying that there's everybody watching you, but not that bother when everybody's doing the same as yeah. know, six, eight of us or whatever, so it's not too bad. How are the photos coming out? Yeah, they're coming out good, yeah. Uh, nice guy, yeah, everything's good. No. Class. Dad. Yeah. Dad. Basically. It's just uh, it's part fail or uh, Yeah, we were saying it's all right. Yeah, 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 yeah. Nothing I can do but when I'm editing it, I try to like match it. But you might feel We were saying it's weird the tan's not set as well exactly. around there, has it? Is it as up top? But, yeah. No, in terms of the shot, it's fucking class. Nice and tight dude. Breathe out. Oh. As much air out as you can. Nice dude. Mate, those look class. Your delts look class. That machine, what the fuck is that? That? Yeah. That's you put your dumbbells in it so that when you go for a shoulder press, you don't have to kick them all the way up. Okay, okay. It just like comes back. Yeah. yeah. Here's another one for Well, you got baby, baby oil on your fingers, can't get it. Yeah, your finger in that little. Literally did that, yeah, just had to get it in the groove. Didn't you? No. Like, really, I was thinking that it's embarrassing, isn't it? <laughs> nice, Nick. Okay, belt separation there. <laughs> Happy? Better than you expected. Yeah. <laughs> and then, literally, once we've done those, it'll be a pull down the row a leg extension um, and then anything else that anyone wants to throw in and that'll be about it really.
Um, and then you'll come out with like 10 or 12 different pitches to choose from. We'll let them do a few and then we'll get your top off, get some oil on and then uh, we'll go again. And these are quite nice because they're sort of in the mirror over the shoulder so you sort of get your back in it and then you obviously get your front in it as well. They just sort of help reflect the light and then set it. So that's what behind them, it just sets it all up. Um, so it's just so you can control obviously the areas that you want to highlight in the shot. Here again. So, halfway through, how are you both managing so far? The sound, a bit nervous when we came in, we have a bit massive there. Oh yeah, we've been going out, right? Yes, it's, um, it's good, like it's tiring, but it's a lot of fun actually. I didn't think it would be fun. So. It's an experience, isn't it? Yeah, <laughs> definitely. How are you finding with like Jay and giving you pointers and stuff and helping with the posing? So. Yeah, I think like doing the pose and then seeing the photo after, it's just like. I, I didn't realise I looked like that, so <laughs> yeah, it's good. It's the best part when you see the photo for the first time, it's like, yeah, it's been worth it sort of thing. This one? Cool. Yeah, that's the best thing. We're good. Gonna do a bit of a warm up. So we're just moving on to the pull down. We've got all the dumbbell shots done, all the mirror shots done. We're gonna jump onto the pull down, get a nice back shot for everybody, which some of these guys I know are looking forward to a pull down shot. And then we'll see what we want to do after that. But yeah, it's the next one. Elbows forward. Okay. Got a tag. Hold there. Nice, nice. Nice, Anton. That's it. Elbows forward. There you go. So, pull down's done. We're going to head over to the cables. We're going to do a tricep push down, so get the triceps going. Once we've done that, we're going to finish on a leg extension. And then unless any of the lads want anything specific for them, we're done. That's it. <laughs> All finished for the day. In a little split stance position, there, and then twist across to Jay. So you literally stood, hips forward, but your torso's facing towards Jay, squeezing that way, yeah? So you put closer to the camera to the front. It can be, yeah, yeah. And then hips forward, twist your torso to Jay. He gets the full on veins popping across his chest and everything, it's nuts with Ryan. Yeah, he does a few reps and literally he's got like a big fuck off road mat over his shoulder and then comes across his chest. So what they're doing when they do that is they're literally pushing all the air out the diaphragm that they can and then obviously squeezing everything that's involved with that movement. You can literally hold that for five to ten seconds, try to take like little breaths in and out of your nose, um, but yeah, you can't hold it for long, it's tiring. So that is it, we are done for the day. The photo shoot is all wrapped up. The guys had a fantastic time. They had much more of a laugh than I think they were expecting. So the plan is now, now everything's done, we're gonna head back over to Fine Fitness where we've got the gym to ourselves. We're gonna order in a bit of food and we're gonna speak to the guys, see what they thought of the day, see what they enjoyed, see if it lived up to their expectations. So stick with us, we're gonna head over now. I'm so, uh, what your vegan. Oh wow. Um, so obviously, <laughs> Whichever one. Oh, me. Who oh, the hell are they? Happy fucking day. <laughs> <laughs> Hallelujah! Right, like, the moment you've been waiting for for like three months. You got cookies what? the other day, I was like, you fucker. <laughs> so, so happy. So happy. <laughs> so happy. Yeah, so we basically just want to chat about how you guys have found the day, obviously, in comparison to what you thought over the last 12 weeks leading up to it, what you thought the day would be. Obviously, nerves in the morning. And uh, how you found it, so feel free to to jump in, but how has the day gone compared to what you thought? Let's start with. I thought when you said, oh, it's an ultraplex hall, I was like, oh, fuck, really? Because it's like in an open gym yeah. instead of a private And I thought one. because of York being smaller, I mm. knew it would be as busy with hall, I didn't realise. And also, chatting to all you guys, and then meeting you for the first time, I was like, it's that apprehension and nerves. And you think, oh, and then you walk into a new gym, and you think, oh my God, but I think, once we had the pre-workout we changed and he started setting up and we were all we were warming up, I just kind of thought, oh, sodges, you know, mm -hmm. once we get our tops off, point anyone in this gym who's done what we've done in 12 weeks, so I had to go through the hardship. It's been a slog for me, I think. Mm -hmm. As you know, the last two yeah. weeks, I think I hit that wall. But it is, like, it's a challenge, isn't it, at the end of the day? Like, it isn't easy to do. Not everyone can do it. 
No, so I think once they're gone and then I saw everyone else adapt and change, I thought, oh, I feel a bit, easy. I felt like I've always said to you guys the other day, safety numbers, because I thought, oh, fuck yeah. it, we're yeah. in the group, so what? We're taking <laughs> over. Yeah. Well, I think that's what's from my point of view been nice to see is that like, obviously so we did one last year, didn't we, just with yourself? Which was fine. And after a few photos, you were pretty comfortable. But seeing you all able to do it today, and obviously you've all been chatting for like the last like twelve weeks or whatever, you're all just having a laugh with each other whilst people are doing the shots and whatnot. So it does it does it does come across a lot nicer in terms of it looks a lot more comfortable, and you've got that sort of support support around you, so you're not the only one doing it really. Like I didn't mind doing it in front of people either. To be fair, like, I feel like there's an element of anybody else who's in that gym who's in good shape is going to respect what you've done and achieved mm -hmm. anyway because yeah. they know what it takes to do it the yeah, I think that helps like, yeah. the judgment's not am I, am I in like decent shape enough to be do, really doing this in my top off in this fucking busy gym <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and, then, and then you think well it's not really about if you're big enough it's like if you're no. in the right to do it yeah. 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 we all had having gone yeah. through 12 weeks of that so one of the I talk about quite a lot is like that point where you see like the first picture of yourself like it always seems to be the point from having done it myself and doing it with other clients like that's when they see the first picture of themselves it's and you've said it yourself it's like oh shit like actually they look pretty good like I'm happy and then you seem to settle into it but how did you because you all have got a chance to have a look at your pictures as we were going through didn't we so we were any of you like surprised about oh, you know, how so the pictures much, looked yeah, so, so much yeah. man like. certainly in the back yeah <laughs> yeah, yeah I was like, that's it. yeah Cool. Yeah, I think as well, like when I was obviously quite kind of nervous as well, which is like it's a weird kind of thing for me as well because I, I've like lost the most amount but also mm. not the leanest mm. at the same time. So it was kind of like a really big thing to like get my top off. And after that first one with like the dumbbells and posing and stuff, and I looked and I was like, holy shit, <laughs> <laughs> I've actually got abs, man. That's just crazy, man. <laughs> And then after that, I was just kind of like, yeah, cool, I'm settling in now, and that was fine. Yeah. I, I genuinely got a stage fright when we first got all that. Like, <laughs> you put you yourself in the corner with yeah, 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 you, you just like went inside your yeah. head. I'm normally the loudest in the room, and all that. I just stood right in that corner, I was like, I'm just going to do some dumbbells, just do some curls. <laughs> <laughs> I hid behind everyone, everyone you go first. You know, it's, I, I was on the first two exercises, I think I was the last one or second last, because I was just fucking delaying it and delaying it. I was like, I just, I just didn't feel comfortable doing it. And then... Like you said, when you see your first pictures, some sort of fucking wizard wreck. Oh, yeah. That's not me, is it? <laughs> kind of thing. But yeah, like once I did the second round for me, it was once you're doing two lots. So it was the after the first lot and the second lot of that dumbbell area. When you go over mm. the lap pull down, that's when I was like, right, okay, this is all right actually. Yeah. Because I saw my back picture from that, and that was I was pretty decent to be fair. Like, but at the start, I was fucking. I thought, shit, I can't do this. It's yeah. daunting, yeah. isn't it? It is, it is terrifying. Yeah. Especially in an open gym, it's hard enough doing it even in a private one. You know what? I, I was surprised about how fucking heavy a 10 kilogram dumbbell feels. <laughs> <laughs> how did you find the posing? Because obviously none of you have ever really posed before, sort of thing, and it's apart from yourself doing one last he, year. He, he, he made you pose more. It does, doesn't it? Yeah, yeah. he emphasises on, okay, breathe, breathe yeah. out. Whereas the last one you and I did, yeah. it was almost, right, okay, you ready? Yeah, and then. Yeah. Because I look at some of those today, even today I went, fucking hell. Yeah, yeah. Wow, okay, do I look like that again? And then automatically I was like, I should look at my old ones in my head thinking, wow, what a change from a year ago. Have you all enjoyed the day as well? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah 100%. I think, like you say, the group for me has been a godsend. When these days when I've really struggled, when I've woken up going, fuck, I'm so tired, I just want to go back to bed. And then, like you've posted, geez, what a I've had it done now, and I think, thank God I'm not the only one. And then I think that camaraderie between mm. the group has yeah, been it's really, it's really been a massive pickup. Going through the same experience, going through the same thing. Yeah. Yeah. It's people who've yeah. had a good day can pick other people. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah it's, it's motivating, isn't it, as well, when you somebody posts that they've had a good day when you've had a bad day, like, oh shit, I need to snap out of it. I need mm. to. Mm. Yeah. I think there was one day when someone posted something, and I said, look, you're going to hit those walls, but those are the days that, that actually count. Yeah. Well, I mean, knowing. What you guys know in terms of like, you guys all know now how it's not easy to do, like it is a challenge to do, but knowing how difficult it is to do, would you still recommend someone doing it in terms of what you get out of it on the day? And obviously we've not got the pictures from you, you've, even, seen, you've seen the pictures. Not well. even like the photos you get out of there, it's like there's so many people I know that would just benefit. Just do the Just the mindset shift, discipline, yeah. willpower. It's like you have got it in you, you can apply this 
willpower and discipline you find that you have in yourself, you can apply it to anything. Mm. Yeah, it's not even so about, many it's people not about where you end up, is it? It's all about just actually going through the journey and yeah. what that teaches you. Mm. Like yes. you said, the discipline. Yeah. Saying you're going to do something and actually getting up and doing it yeah, yeah, yeah. is a huge thing. It's mental how it like, actually changes your personal life as well. Yeah, so like, as much as yeah, you're, you're, you're disciplined in going to the gym and like, eating the right things, but like, also that spills over into like, your work life as well. Like, I've been so much more productive the last like, 12 mm. weeks. Yeah, um, it makes a certain difference, don't it? You, so it's, it's, it's you take that level of preparation and just carrying out what you say you're going to do into everything else. I also think, like, obviously the last <laughs> week or two or three or whatever are not sustainable, but yeah, for the not. vast majority of the plan is Eat, eat healthy. Yeah, Everyone's like, oh, yeah, it's like I literally just ate less and move more. Yeah, but and that's why being on to. being on that like actually sustainable part of the diet is like shit. This is eating healthy. Then what I was eating before I thought was healthy is not. And what other people are eating, <laughs> yeah. I'm like, yeah. no. Like, what are you putting is, inside yourself? That is no. six weeks. I feel like I can do that six days out of every week yeah, yeah, forever. Yeah, yeah. Like yeah. I don't feel yeah. like that. And you're not even eating shit, you know, like easy. It's actually yeah, yeah, hundred percent. It uses madness how people think, oh, I hate being blokes at gym saying to me, one lad I know well, he's like, how long are you on for this? And you're like, you're looking really good, did you, you, you are going to stop when you finish this. You know, you were chewing my mother or what? <laughs> <laughs> you know? Yeah, yeah, you don't look healthy, yeah. you look gold. Yeah, but that's You get that a lot of gold. people passing comments on how you're looking and yeah. what you're doing and it's it's fine, it's normal, it's part and parcel, but at the end of the day you've got to remember in your head you know exactly what you're doing. What you're doing is probably more controlled, more planned out and more tracked than whatever anyone else is doing. And healthier. And healthier. <laughs> to a degree, yeah, to a large degree. Yeah, yeah, so yeah, it's most. But like my energy's been fucking it's been really good compared to what it was. Mm -hmm. That might be because of bad habits I've had previously, like I laughed and joked within before how bad my caffeine habit is. But it could be that <laughs> <Your eyes don't. laughs> how bad I do dirt track stuff, or like I say I've been eating this, I say I've been eating that, do you know what I mean? And it comes back to when I first started with him last September, I said, oh yeah, I have 2,000 calories a day. But the first week I was having 3,300, and that's just Because <laughs> yeah. I started tracking stuff, he said, right, don't, we're not going to give you calorie amount just yet. Nutrition plan's going to be next week, I just want to see what you're tracking. Like a normal Monday was like 3,300 and I wondered why I was fucking... And I was supposed to know this shit. But I thought, oh, I know, so I'm telling my lot that I've, what they've got to do. And then it, it just adds that level of accountability where like, I finally had someone watching me yeah. measure shit out, just mm. different levels, do you know what I mean? I think when you're like under tracking stuff on purpose, because you're afraid he's going to have a go at you. <laughs> <laughs> you're not actually doing Come on, anyone yeah, anything. Yeah. No, because like, I, I never even have a go either. No, I, mean, no, no it's, I think it's the guilt that you feel inside and you're like, shit man, Jake is actually yeah. going to be really disappointed in me. Yeah, yeah. If I put this on the tracker, he's going to like just be like, no. But you, you, you think it's like... I disagree with that, no, yeah. you, I, I think you'd be more disappointed with someone lying on the tracker than seeing a shit number. Oh, definitely. Which yeah, is yeah. what I've always... If I had a shit number, I've told you straight up I've had this amount. Because at least then we'll get, if you, even if it's shit, if we know what it is, we can work you, you're then going to reply and lie. I can't do anything about it. What yeah. I've done in the past when I've fucked up with stuff like that is I've texted you about it and then you've, we've got a solution, like a new solution, before waiting until our check-in day, do you know what I mean? Yeah, Which yeah. is probably the right way to do it. Balance does exist to some extent, but if you want to do something like this, the balance has got to go out the window. Like I've had some seriously low calories. Oh, it's an extreme. Something it's not that I would not, mm -hmm. I would never dream of telling my clients some of the numbers that I've been on. But then like, it's like we were saying earlier, you can go to this extreme to then be able to figure out what your balance actually is. Yeah. Instead of never pushing to that point and your balance being potentially higher than what it should be. You know, a balance yeah. between an okay diet and a shit diet is still not an okay diet, where a balance between an extreme diet and a shit diet, yeah. you're going to I was saying earlier, like this, Certainly, things that I'll, I've started eating through the like low yeah. weeks where I can just take now yeah. into the future. Because I was saying, like, yeah, mm. I've been eating like before this, I was thought I was losing weight, I was eating like at least one steak a day. <laughs> like <Yeah>. two, two <laughs> chicken breasts a day, thinking, yeah, this is protein, like blah, 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 blah. Yeah. And now it'll be, I'll replace that steak for haddock or cob tomorrow. Yeah. So. Yeah. So I mean, knowing what you all know now, you might not want to do it again anytime soon. But would you recommend it yeah. to oh, people? Yeah. Oh, I'd recommend it, it and I'd, I'd 100% say I'm not going to do it again next week. But 
like I don't think this will be the only time I go. But you do it again at some point. Yeah, I, I, would, I, I think again. like I would do it again like in a year's time. Yeah. 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 And the thing that's you get the photos, especially when you get the photos back, you see them and you drive straight away. But I want to beat that. I want to do it again in one year or two. Yeah. And I want to beat it. I didn't even see the pic. I was asking you, when did I run that? From my lot. He was yeah halfway through the shoot. It was planned. It's gone from hiding behind you lot. I'm gonna start like to tell us up. Should I go through this at the same time? I'm doing this mile in April. For me, if I did it again, I'd want to do it possibly in summer. Mm. I find winter now. To so finish for me, the summer off, just before it. Just before, because I think now for me, it's you wake up, it's dark. It's yeah. a miserable yeah. time of yeah. It's yeah. a hard time. Yeah. 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 You go to gym and our gym is fucking freezing. Yeah. Freezing your bits off. You come home, you're tired, it's dark, you feel like a mole, and you think. <laughs> but then the big plus side is you don't come into January having gained a shit ton of weight no. through the winter. Also, well, well, right. well, okay. <laughs> <laughs> you've got Christmas to go. Let's not rule it out. You <laughs> think, to think out. oh, I'm not that hungry. <laughs> so having 1,600 <laughs> calories yeah, in a week when it's when it's coming up to summer, you think I'm not really bothered because it's getting warmer. I don't want to eat. I mean, sometimes I think now is difficult, and it's yeah. because it's a run up to Christmas as well. So every five minutes, there's shit on telly. You think, yeah. fuck, I only turn the shit off because it's just making me hungry. Eh? So that is it. Group photo shoot day is done. The first one is in the bag. The guys are all sorted, happy. Everyone's had a good time. You've heard what they've had to say about it. So this is going to become a regular thing. So had a really, really great day. It's been well worth the effort that all the guys have been putting in, and I can't wait to do the next one. See you there. <laughs>